G'day, my name is David Troy and this is the David Troy Salon. So in this video, what I want to do for you guys, like, it's really popular. I see a lot of these uh, men's French cuts. I, I love the haircut at the moment, so I wanted to show you how I do it anyway. And I'm not saying I'm right, this is just my technique and this is just what I do, but I really do think that this is a haircut of 2019 or that you're going to see a lot more of. So I've got a live model today, uh, Daniel, he's awesome. So let's just jump right into it. So these are the tools I'm going to be using today for my haircut. And I'm so excited to say I've got Daniel in the salon today. This is the haircut before we even start. He's let it grow out a little bit for me, which is great. Okay, so I started down the bottom with a 0.5 and then I worked my way up into a number one guard, uh, just slightly scooping that out. There's some amazing barbers online and I'm not a barber, I'm a hairdresser, so there is a little bit of a difference. But as I'm working my way up, you can see I'm just trying to remove a little bit of that weight line. So before we even started this haircut, I had to call Daniel's agent to make sure we got the approval that we can go ahead and give him this French cut because it is pretty short. Once we got the approval and the okay, we went ahead and said, great, let's do it. So you can see here, I'm just working my way around the head. So after working that fade in, what I do at the top, I actually leave it a little bit disconnected. So I slightly over direct everything back to my previous section. And on the sides, I actually don't want to blend it in too much. I want a little bit of disconnection. So as I'm working forward, I'm just slightly over directing back, just creating that bit of a weight line. And with the fringe area, I'm going to cut that straight across. And you'll see that more as I dry it, because Daniel's got a bit of a wave in his hair. So after we dry it, you'll see that texture come out and that line appear. So the hair's about 80% dry, but I am going to blast it with the hair dryer, and I'm going to smooth it out just a little bit with the flat iron before I put any product in it. I'm loving the way this haircut's turning out. Listen, I'm so honored to have this man in my chair. I can't really talk about any of his upcoming projects that he's working on, but you will know this man very soon. So now that I've dried it and I've flat ironed it a little bit to smooth it out, I'm going to go over it and just make that disconnection appear a little bit stronger. I want to create a little bit of a shelf here. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing that top part out of the way and just scissor over combing the bottom just a little bit, just to make sure we can get a little bit more of a disconnection when we get some product in it. I really wish I could play the audio because what Daniel's talking about, I just, I really want to let you guys hear it, but I actually can't. But listen, I am so happy with the way this is turning out. haircut obviously I'm going to use the salon guys clutch it's such a cool wax and it's a matte finish it's going to give me the look I'm looking for I just want to say a big thank you for Daniel for letting me bring him into the salon today and allowing me to cut his hair I love this haircut I love this new look for him it's a French cropped haircut for men I just think it turned out amazing
watching this video today. I so appreciate it. And listen, if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, check out some of my other videos. Leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload next. Listen, I will see you next week.